Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze this beam by finding the support reactions and to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this overhanging beam. There is a uniformly distributed load of 2 kN per meter on the overhanging portion of the beam which is 3 meter and there is a mid portion of the beam or the left portion of the beam 4 meter length without any load. So let's consider this is support A and this is B. So first we have to find out the support reactions R A and R B. These are unknown to us. So let's consider that these are acting in upward direction R A and R B to support the load. Now to find out these reaction let's using this equation equilibrium equation taking the summation of moment let's suppose at any point equal to zero and we are taking at point A equal to zero and let's suppose clockwise moment is positive and the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. So now the force RB will create some moment about point A. So this will create moment about point A in the anti-clockwise direction. So it will be negative. So minus RB multiplying it with the force because moment is equal to the force into moment arm. So force is RB and moment arm is the distance from the load up to point where you want to find the moment about. So this is 4 meter here. Now again there is also a load uniformly distributed load of 2 kN per meter which also creates a moment about point A. So this one is 2 kN per meter so distributed load so 2 into 3. We multiplying it with the distance on which it is distributed so this is the force. Now moment arm this load will act at the center this load because if you multiply 2 with the 3 we got 6 kN. This is now we change the uniformly distributed load into pointed load or concentrated load. So now this load 6 kN will act at the center and it will create the moment about point A in the clockwise direction. That's why we took it as positive. 2 into 3 is the load multiplying it with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from this load which is will act at the midpoint till to the point A. So 4 plus this distance which is 3 divided by 2 this is 1.5. So 1.5 plus 4, it means the total is 5.5 meter. Summation of all the moment about point A equal to 0. So if we shift this value into the right side or this value into the right side, so we get 4RB equal to the this value. 2 multiplied by 3, multiply it with the 5.5. In the next step, what we do, we just divide this 4 on the other side. So 2 multiplied by 3 multiply 5.5 divided by 4. So by solving this value, we got Rb equal to the 8.25 kilonewton. So this support reaction is 8.25 kilonewton. Now to find out Ra, we can use the similar equation, equilibrium equation, but here summation of vertical force is equal to 0. And let's suppose upward forces are positive and the downward forces are negative. Now the upward forces are Ra and Rb, these are acting in upward direction, so Ra plus Rb and the downward force is this 2 kN per meter, so 2 is the load multiplying it with the length on which it is distributed which is 3 meter, so 2 into 3, so this is summation of all the vertical forces equal to 0. So here Rb is known to us, so Ra is unknown to us, so if we shift this field into the right side, so we get 2, 3, 2, 2 into 3 6 minus RB so RA comes out to be 6 minus RB is 8.25 which we find out here so RA comes out to be minus 2.25 kilonewton now what does this minus sign shows here before it was plus it shows that our assumed direction was wrong so we have to change our sign direction here so we have to remove this sign and we have to add the sign that now this reaction is acting in downward direction Ra is equal to 2.25 kN but the direction was wrong. So that's why when we have negative sign in the reaction it means we have to change our assumed direction. So here we change the direction. So we got the support reaction Rb and Ra. Now to find and to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. So this one is Ra which is 2.25 kN, sorry, this is acting in the downward direction and this is acting in upward direction which is 8.25 kN. 
So now to draw the shear force in bending moment diagram, we will draw the reference lines. So these are the reference lines for shear force in bending moment diagram. And here, this is the reference line for the shear force and this is for the bending moment. So shear force in the unit of kilonewton and the bending moment in the unit of kilonewton meter. So now R A is 2.25 starting from this position which is 0. So 2.25 is acting in downward direction. So it will we will bring this value, this diagram downward up to the 2.25 kilonewton. And then there is no load acting on the beam that creates a shear force. So it will be constant line. Then again the load that creates a shear is acting in upward direction which is 8.25. So minus 2.25 which was acting downward plus 8.25 which is acting in upward direction. So we get here plus 6. So plus 6 means that it will be in plus direction. This above is plus, below is negative. So plus 6 here. Now again we have load of 2 kilonewton per meter multiplying it with the 3 on which it is distributed so we get here 6 kilonewton which is acting in downward direction so it will be negative this is again acting down it will be negative so plus 6 minus 6 we will get 0 so it means we will bring this value to 0 so this is the shear force diagram for this uh, beam so now to draw the bending moment diagram, we will take help from the shear force diagram because bending moment depends on the shear force. So now for this bending moment, we have to find out the area of this one. This block which is 4 meter is the length and the height is 2.25. So this will be the area of A1. So to find out the area of this A1, it will be 2.25 multiplying it with the 4 we got here 9. So the area of this block is 9. So it gives us the bending moment value here at this point which is 9. Now again we have to find out the area of this diagram. So this is a triangle. So it will be A2 and the triangle area is half base into height. So half base is here this length which is 3 meter. Height here is 6 meter. So 3 into 6 18 divided by 2 we get here 9 so this is 9 but this is positive 9 and this was negative so it was negative and this is this is positive so minus 9 and plus 9 we will get here 0 so here we have 0 value so we will draw here 0 so this is the bending moment diagram for this beam to draw the bending moment diagram you should always keep in mind that you have to find out the area of the shear forces this is the area of the first block and this is the area of the second block. You have to add and subtract these values in order to find out your corresponding values. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.